This is episode 24 of my special series, The Entrepreneur Alphabet. I created it to so you can better understand what it takes to be a successful entrepreneur and therefore make sure you stop being the bottleneck in your business. I share practical A to Z insights across 26 short episodes. Yes, you guessed it right, 26 like the number of letters in the alphabet and we're getting close to the end. Today, we cover the letter X for X Factor. Finding your X Factor can be a daunting task, but it's essential if you want to build a successful and sustainable business. This show is designed for you. Please send me your questions about entrepreneurial topics you'd like me to cover in the future. The best way to reach out to me is by email, contact at lauranota.com or on LinkedIn. Putting it simply, the X factor is your 10 to 100X underlying advantage. It's often used to describe the unique quality or characteristic that sets a company apart from its competitors. These characteristics can include product quality, customer service, branding, marketing, technology, innovation, among others. It's the special sauce that makes a business stand out and succeed where others fail. It's usually invisible to your customers, but it underpins your strategy and blocks your competitors from even trying to copy you. And once you find it, it will allow you to sustain rapid and continuous growth. For example, Apple's X factor is its consistent focus on design and innovation. Amazon's X factor is their prime membership. They have become the go-to for ordering just about anything online because of their expedited shipping through Prime. The X Factor is not just about having a unique product or service. It's about creating a distinct and memorable customer experience that sets your business apart from others. This experience can include everything from the design of your website to the packaging of your products, to the way you communicate with your customers. In turn, it will build a loyal customer base. Because when customers have a memorable experience with your business, they are more likely to come back and recommend it to others. Finally, I want to add that having a strong X factor can also help you attract and retain top talent. When employees are excited about the work they're doing and feel like they're part of something special, they are more likely to stay with the company and contribute to its success. I guess by now, I don't have to tell you why the X factor is so important for your business. However, I'm sure you're eager to know how to find your X factor. Well, I'm afraid that's far from being easy. But let me give you some practical recommendations. First, start by asking yourself, what is the one thing I hate most about my industry? What is driving me crazy? It could be a cost factor, could be a time factor, it could be anything. But your challenge is to see it because you're often so close to the situation that you are blind to the real problems that have been accepted as industry norms. Once you have discovered that thing that is driving you nuts, find out the opportunities that it creates and then use those opportunities as your X factor. Let me give you other suggestions to help you find your X factor. One, identify your unique strengths and values. What are you good at and what do you care about? For example, if you have a talent for design, you may want to prioritize the ethics of your brand and products. Two, research your industry and competition to identify gaps in the market and areas where you can differentiate yourself. Look for patterns and trends in your sector and think about how you can offer something that your competitors are not. I suggest you watch Will Guidara's TED Talk titled The Secret Ingredients of Great Hospitality. He's the author of Unreasonable Hospitality, 
the remarkable power of giving people more than they expect. Three, ask your customers for feedback. They are a valuable source of information, but how often do you actually talk to them? Pay attention to what they like about your business, the words they use to describe it, and what they think could be improved. Four, experiment and iterate. Finding your X factor is not a one-time event, but a continuous process of experimentation and iteration. Once you have identified some potential areas where you can differentiate yourself, try different strategies and see what works best. For example, if you've identified customer service as a potential strong area to get your competitive edge, experiment with different approaches, such as offering a 24-7 support line, providing personalized recommendations, or sending follow-up surveys to evaluate customer satisfaction. For example, Vapo's X factor is how relentless that customer service is. It will take an order as late as midnight and deliver it to the customer's doorstep before breakfast. It has the world's largest selection of shoes and its service includes free returns. If it doesn't have the shoe you want in stock or in your size, a Zappos call center employee will go to three competitors' sites to try to help you locate what you want to buy. 75% of its business comes from repeat customers, even though its prices are far from the lowest. At Zappos, they don't hold customer service representatives accountable for call times. I mean, their longest phone call was more than eight hours with a customer. Imagine that. Five, stay true to your values. What makes you, you? As you experiment and iterate, it's important to stick to who you are and the unique strengths that make you business special. Don't try to be something you're not or copy your competitors just because their strategy seems to be working for them. And last, continuously adapt and evolve. Remember that finding your X factor is an ongoing process that requires you to be flexible. As your business grows and changes, your X factor may need to evolve as well. So stay attuned to changes in your industry and the needs of your customers and be willing to adapt your strategy as needed to stay ahead of the competition. In conclusion, the X factor is a crucial element for your business if you want to stand out and succeed in a crowded market. Finding your X factor as an entrepreneur requires a combination of self-awareness, research, customer feedback, experimentation, and a commitment to staying true to your values. It's a tough journey, but it's worth it. Your X factor will help you create a distinct and memorable customer experience that sets your business apart from others in your industry. That's it for today's episode. If you like it, why don't you subscribe to my podcast so you don't miss any future episodes. See you next time. Bye for now.